Um, Edward McCauley, I'm a professor of kinesiology, community health. My primary uh, research focus is on physical activity, uh, aging and psychological and physical function in older adults. I've been studying uh, aging for 20 some years. I first got into it from the perspective of uh, looking at factors that influence adherence to physical activity, why people stuck with physical activity. And um, in large part, there was very little work that was being done in older adults. And that to me made no sense given that we were at that time just starting to become an aging society. Clearly, as you age, there's um, a number of decrements, everything from mental cognitive decline to the obvious physical decline. But the issue that we continually grapple with is one of, is this inevitable? Is the declines that we see inevitable? It's clearly not when you look at some of the people in our communities who are very vibrant, uh, both uh, mentally and physically, uh, for much of their, their life. Currently in the background we have uh, one of the groups in a, a large randomized controlled trial looking at the effects of uh, physical activity on brain structure and function as well as psychosocial function and uh, independent living in older adults. Our hypothesis is that changes in brain structure and function come about through changes in fitness and that we can in some cases prevent or uh, in other cases uh, attenuate or stop the declines that individuals see with aging. One of the most important things for something I'm very interested in which is quality of life is the ability for someone to carry on being independent as they age and they get a great deal of, uh, of pleasure from. This activity here <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, this activity here is our, what we call our Flex Toba group, which is flexibility, toning and balance. And um, their uh, activity sessions are designed, as you would imagine, to improve all of those things. Our other groups uh, in this project are actually uh, involved in a, in a walking program. It's just a walking program, walking on the track. We monitor it very carefully the extent to which they're keeping their heart rate up, they're meeting their goals in terms of intensity of activity, of duration of activity. 30 minutes, five times or more a week is enough for multiple health benefits. And you can get that from a brisk walk. We don't need any special machinery, but we can get it by walking in their neighborhood, in parks, in gyms, that type of thing. There is nothing that is better, has so many positive benefits to it than physical activity. Simply going and exercising for a couple of weeks isn't gonna have the benefits that, that you really need. You have to commit, you have to build it into your schedule, and in the end, you have to make it a part of your everyday routine. It always was when we didn't have cars and so forth. Now, uh, life is so much easier uh, that physical activity seems difficult, whereas it shouldn't do. I think the message that people have to get is if you want to live longer, you want to live happier, and you want to live better, then you have to put the time in.